Oh hey, it's Rob, and uh, I don't have a video ready for this week. I have been working very hard on the counters. Um, they're almost done. Uh, right now all that's left is the ceiling step and the cleanup. So um, I will be doing that later this week. But uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I'm supposed to be starting a new job this coming week. Um, hopefully that's going to go through. There's some paperwork stuff that's hung up in the in the uh, consulting company. Um, other than that, uh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff for taking care of the yard, a uh, new lawnmower. Well, the lawnmower won't be delivered until early September. Uh, got a snowblower, got you know a rototiller, things like that. And um, I've been doing some work outside, uh, kind of in between. So I haven't really had time to do any editing. Now I've got a lot of footage from putting together the uh, the counter in the last bit, and I need to, I need to put that together into something that's cohesive. And I just I don't I'm out of time. <laughs> so uh, my apologies, but you know, still kind of cranking through stuff getting the house ready and working on it. So till next time, see you guys. Quick take on fixing the backsplash here. I located the studs and I mounted screw holes into the studs which are on each side of the window. Added some adhesive in here and back here added some epoxy down in here, screwed these to the wall, and then pushed this in with a quick clamp that uh, I reversed the end on. If you've never seen these, these are you can take these ends off and swap them so that you can either clamp things together or push them apart. It's kind of a nice feature of these and why I like these so much. But now we're going to see if the epoxy is held. Looks like so far it has. Uh, I need to run into town and get some more supplies, which will take at least an hour. So we'll see what it looks like afterwards, but I'm hoping that this is going to hold. I still need to do some cleanup on the wall back here to make sure that I get all of this stuff off before we do the coating. And I still need to do the sanding of the surface and the top surface of the wood here. And then clean up and uh, we'll be pretty much ready to go.